Hi everyone, Angelina, and we're going to do another pick a card reading, and uh, nothing to do with maps. But I, before uh, we begin, I just wanted to tell you something, and um, then we're going to start with the reading. If you want to skip ahead, uh, you can do that using the timestamps. But this is, uh, as you can see, a map of Africa with crystals on it, and there is a ley line that runs from the Giza Plateau, uh, where the pyramids are, all the way down to the south uh, in, in Durban, to Durban, uh, that area in South Africa. And um, putting these crystals where I've put them, uh, following directions of Diana Cooper, helps to heal and reactivate that ley line. The ley line is part of the web of light that is around the earth that protects us. And um, it's heavily damaged in Africa. That's why there's so much unrest and chaos going on there. So I've done this this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, for some reason or other, I just wanted to show you that. If you feel like adding energy to it, feel free to do so. Um, in, in that sense, you can draw a golden line from um, the Giza Plateau, which is uh, next left next to uh, Cairo, up north in Egypt, all the way down here yeah, in South Africa. You can look that up on the map yourself if you want. And the citrine up there is in Sudan, is on the source of the Nile. And um, the, that is the source of the White Nile, because that is on the line. And there's the other places are in Zimbabwe and, uh, I don't know, somewhere else. Anyhow, if you feel like um, you can basically draw an imaginary line, right? Because you can see it is one straight line down. Oopsie. And um, so if you feel like tuning into it and uh, adding energy to it to heal, help heal the planet in Africa, uh, help heal, restore that ley line, then feel free by all means to do so. If you're interested in doing something like this yourself, then please let me know, then I can tell you the places so you can look them up on a map. Anyhow, uh, apart from that, uh, um, uh, my course, Self Love, The Key to Happiness, is starting Monday the 1st of April. Um, you can still sign up for that. So then you have to go to my website, uh, sparklingdiva1111.wordpress.com and you can find it under courses and my other course the uh, is actually challenge the, the self-love one is five days only it's free it's online and uh, you do need Facebook for it I only give it on Facebook and the other one is a course and that starts uh, April 15th um, and it's about manifesting money and abundance and it's called free your mind and the rest will follow so you can have a look at that as well on my website sparklingdiva1111.wordpress.com now we're now gonna go to the reading right here are the cards the sets and uh, the reading is on um, what message does your own uh, guardian angel have for you so we're going to look at that and there's four choices the numbers one is a mount chasta crystal i'll turn it around and you can see it a little bit better um so that's from mount chasta in northern california a very very uh yeah well a power place <laughs> Lemurian energies, etc. Uh, number two is a very beautiful rose quartz from Madagascar, also Lemurian energies. And for some reason or other, I felt like putting that, yeah, that cute white feather there, like an angel feather. And uh, number three, also Lemurian energy. And this is a um, an Arkansas crystal but not the old version of the Arkansas crystals. This is from a newer mine. And uh, crystals from that mine have Lemurian energies. They're completely different from the Arkansas crystals that come from other mines. And then numbers four have a beautiful amethyst. So that's the choices. Please make your choice. And, and then we're going to start. Righty, numbers one, we're going to start. Um, we have two cards. Uh, hang about, let's first uh, tell you the question. <laughs> this is the message from your own guardian angel. And now we have 
yes, just say yes. And the only thing that it says in the booklet is yes, 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 yes. And that's just so on and so forth. So whatever it is that you maybe have in mind or that you're busy with, thinking about, doubting, fearing, whatever, um, the answer is yes. And uh, with the Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So not you are divinely guided. Uh, more so, is this is deeper, your guidance is divinely guided. And this says that if you have been waiting uh, for a sign to proceed, and then this is it. This card is that sign. This is the message for you to proceed. And so that, that goes really well with the first card, yes. And let's see if there's something more... With the Akasha. Um, yeah, it says that you're likely living out an important part of your soul's journey. And that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. That it is a very exciting time indeed. But if you're facing something that is your journey, your, your real uh, true north and so on. Then often we feel doubtful or we, we get, well, a bit afraid. And uh, yeah, so maybe maybe I hope this resonates with you because this is quite something. This is really about your path. And um, let's see, the next card I have for you is um, a message from your own guardian angel, what you are to do right now. And then, oh no, that's the wrong, <laughs> the wrong one. Yeah, the first one, I need the first groove. And then we have warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? This, again, your calling, right? Of, of course, much of this deck is about that, but not every card. So um, <clears throat> this also says that if there is resistance or if you have fear about something, then usually there is an indication that it is the right thing. And uh, you have to really feel, of course, because sometimes it's an indication that it is a wrong thing. Your intuition can tell you that. But um, very often, if, if something is right for us to do, then we feel fear. Because then all of a sudden it's important and, and, and right? then, then we get afraid. Um, but then the message is to, uh, to move forward anyway. Because you need, um, yeah, what needed then is courage. And um, yeah, courage comes... Uh, yeah, with fear, it's not possible to have courage without fear. That's also that's normal, right? But it must mustn't be um, overwhelming and numbing or paralyzing fear. But there's always a, a mild fear, otherwise you're reckless, right? That's not good. So courage doesn't mean you haven't got any fear. And um, I love this so much. This is what he says in the booklet: is that courage comes from living from the heart. And that is true. That true courage comes from the heart. And and it's not something from the ego. That's not really true courage. So I like that. Um, so, yeah, you can think of your uh, fears as opportunities to expand. And that's because they often these, uh, these fears are about something that you should do. The good thing, the right thing for you. Right? So that's what you should do. You should... Yeah, overcome these fears and, and do take steps, do proceed regardless, find the courage to do that. Um, now we have two more extra messages uh, for you from the uh, Goddess Power Oracle. And then we have New Beginnings and we have uh, Metis. Um, I'm going to look it up because there's so much with these goddesses. <clears throat> but again, of course, clear with Eoster um, that there is going to be a new beginning, a, a start of something. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's what it says as well, that there is a, a, an energy in, of newness that will uh, is flowing through your life or will begin to flow through your life when you start to take steps, right? If you start to say yes to it. 
And um, the message is also that your intentions have lain dormant for long enough. And that's also part of the message from Matisse, the wisdom, uh, with the wisdom, um, that you should start acting. And um, with Eos is also that fresh opportunities begin to appear out of nowhere, just seemingly out of nowhere, out of the blue. Um, um yeah so so yeah you you can really start to act and and new things and it also speaks of um potential for new connections promising connections and opportunities also matisse sp speaks of that um the difficulty arises when you think that you already know uh the outcome how it will go what the result will be um that's something you have to be uh, mindful of that you don't do that so um do take action but uh remain open to the outcome because the outcome might be different from what you have expected but it still be what you need right very pleasant and what you need so um and matisse the wisdom, I want to look that up as well so I don't forget to tell you anything. Um, yeah, that card says that you actually know to do what exactly you have to do in your current circumstances. And that the real question is, do you have the courage and commitment to make a wise choice? So, um, again, the courage. Right, that came up with a warrior woman, the courage and the commitment to do it and uh, to make it a wise choice. And the answer is to not hide. Um, y y yeah, you shouldn't dim your light and not make yourself smaller than you really are. Um, because that's what the mistake that Matisse, the goddess Matisse herself has made. She dimmed her own light and made herself smaller to please other people for love. She did that for love. And that's something you mustn't do. It, it is It is also um, maybe good uh, because it's possible that there is someone or something in your life that is causing you to do the exact same thing. So it, it could be good to look at that. Um, but it is... Um, yeah, it, it it is a time for you to 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 sp spread your wisdom, everything you know, and uh, also a very good time again, like with Elster for new relationships, and uh, yeah, it is a very potent period in your life, and same with Elster said that as well. So, yeah, really time to take action, to, to be courageous and to start doing things and not play small anymore. Share your wisdom. Begin sharing your wisdom. And that can be in a great many ways, right? It doesn't just mean like coaching or whatever. It, 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 that can be in various ways, even as a parent, right? Uh, and then there is an extra card from the... Um, I'll show it to you from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle card deck. It's a drum. And um, again, <laughs> has much to do with uh, your path, right? So likely you are busy with finding out what your, what, what your path is, or maybe you already know, and uh, but you're still not really taking any steps to... Um, manifest things to really bring things in in, in you know to, into fruition um this says uh, speaks that uh it might be very helpful to journey um uh, to 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 uh gosh now i lost it i was about to say journal but that is not what it says your dreams pay attention to your dreams and visions that you have because they may hold important information for you uh, to help you on your path and, uh, and because that's what drumming it, it was always used for by shamans and, and uh, people to get visions or to get in a trance state meditative uh, state or just also grounding drumming is very very grounding um, 
Yeah, and, and, and it says that when it appears, there are opportunities for you to dream or to bring an inner vision into reality. So again, right, is there's an awful lot to do this uh, this set with um, yeah your past and and telling you to stop acting, to stop doing, to have the courage, to believe in yourself, to not fear anymore, and to say yes, yes, yes to it. So I do hope it resonates to you and that it makes sense to you. And I'm going to thank you for watching and move to the numbers two. Right, numbers two, your cards, your first two cards. Uh, we have Unbound, releasing um, soul patterns, contracts and past lives. And we have Anna, uh, grandmother of Jesus. Unbound is basically... Um, let me see, it's about uh, letting go of old ways of being and doing, acting, uh, believing, old things that don't serve you anymore. It really is time to release that. Yes. So if you, um, if there are old soul stories even that have been playing out in your life, then and maybe these are coming up again at the moment, then that is because they want to be healed and released. And um, you also really have to do that right now. That's very important. That's why you are getting this message from your guardian angel. Really, you have to do that. So you become free again. Now you can float and soar in the sky. And there's a big change for you coming from what I see in the cards and the other cards as well. And um, this is the life in which you free yourself from trauma of life's past. Well, that's quite something. So it is time to unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer sustainable. So if you feel you likely do, right? Otherwise, this isn't coming up. Um, if you feel that some things just don't work for you anymore, don't sit well with you anymore, don't feel right anymore, then do something so you can let them go. And, and and really do that, free yourself, set yourself free. And then we go to Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. This is seeding the light all over the world, light workers, seeding, 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 so that at some point they can rise up and spread the light over the planet and touch more people's hearts even. And... I feel you are one of these people who do that, but right now it feels more that you should be able to receive that light yourself and then you can pass it on. But you can't do that if there, if you are still being restricted and blocked basically by old things from past lives, but also in this life that aren't good for you anymore. So you first have to do that and then you can start receiving that light. You likely have already felt that, bits and pieces of it, but there's much more for you to come. And uh, But then you have to get rid of that first. And that has a lot to do with um, moving to the third card, what you should do. <clears throat> this is what's happening. Uh, birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a, a new world into being. And that's what mankind is going through uh, at the moment, right? We, we are switching to the age of Aquarius, but you yourself are also kind of in, in between moving from the bound phase to the unbound and then you can start receiving and then seeding the light yourself and then you can start helping to birth a new age but also your life can then be refreshed and renewed and um, in a way it's a bit of a leap of faith because you have to allow the old to fall away and uh, when something new has to come in then you don't really know what is going to come in you, you don't really know what is coming in to replace what you let go of but you really have to just trust and and take that leap of faith and and let go of the old anyway and uh, otherwise the new cannot come 
So you have to give permission for that to happen and then you create space for that new to be born, both in your life, but then you can also help. Because I do think you are, uh, most of you who chose this are uh, also going to help the, that process on the planet. One way or another, right? It doesn't mean to, that you have to start a spiritual center or something. It, it doesn't matter if you work in a supermarket and, and you bring enlightenment to people who uh, come at your cash register. <laughs> you know, It can be that small and that simple. Even also with children, passing it on to your children and friends and family. That's also seeding the light. Um, then we go to your uh, last, oopsie, some cards are really annoying and do not wish to stand up apparently. Oh no, 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 hang about, I'm forgetting one card, hang about. Your, uh, I almost forgot your moon, uh, not, not your moon card, your goddess card, your goddess power card. And then you have Mama Killa, the moon, and that's an Incan goddess, and she is about cycles, like the moon is also about cycles. And the Incas, like the uh, Mayan as well, they didn't have a solar calendar like we do now. They they, they had a moon calendar and uh, there's 13 full moons. So, um, and, and that means the cycles, right? Timing. They timed everything according to the cycles of the moon. The time to sow, the time to harvest and the time to celebrate and so on and so forth. And that's what this card is about for you you to um, acknowledge your own cycles, your own cycles of your body, um, and somehow that feels really strong, but also the cycles in your life, the phases and the things that you're going through, and you are going through quite a phase, I think, because we have this, that you have to set yourself free, and then uh, allow more light in, so you can begin to see that light into your own life as well, right, this is also not just giving away light to other people, this is also for you, helping you. Uh, in your life, your health, your body, and then you, you once your cup is full of light, then you can uh, pass on the overflow. That's the idea. So, and um, this is uh, um, asking you also to uh, check if you are currently out of sync and maybe are trying to um, make something happen um, with your willpower. Um, while the uh, natural current isn't uh, flowing, <laughs> is basically telling you to not do that yet. And um, so you have to follow these cycles, be in tune with these cycles. Otherwise, it's like almost like I can see almost like this, the sea flows to the land, right? Towards the land with waves. And if you start trying to push against the waves, trying to push them the other direction, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. And, and, and it's, it's going against the grain. It's, uh, it's unnatural. You, you can never, ever um, change these natural forces. You can't. And you shouldn't either. In, instead, what you should do is go with the flow and let the energies of the uh, moment, of the cycle, work for you. And that means that if everything is working against you or it seems to be working against you and you want things to happen faster than they actually are moving, then maybe it's time for you to take a rest. And maybe uh, by doing that, you get more ideas, inspiration or your body can recover. Um, maybe even your spirit, your, your, your mentique, your mentique. Uh, new word, your mental, uh, whatever, your mind, that's what I was looking for, <laughs> your mind can rest and find peace again, and after that you can move forward at the speed of light, so you have to, um, conversely it's also po uh, possible that maybe now if it feels that things are moving really fast for you, and you are like, oh, hang about, I want to put the brakes on, and it doesn't work, right, then just try to go with the flow, uh, get in tune with the cycles, also your own cycle, and um, then things will, then you'll get it aligned again, and then things will start working out a whole lot better for you, and um Funny enough, this, this card, that is just an extra message, um, 
from the another deck, the Angels and Ancestors, says a very similar thing. Um, the night is about growth, um, spiritual growth and expansion. And that came up with the other cards as well. But this also says that... Um, uh, oh, well, let's put it up first. We don't want him to fall over. <laughs> he has to stand up strong. He's a, a warrior, right? He's a knight. Um, the, for, for instance, if you're in a space uh, where there's opposition, then you are being guided to follow through with integrity. Even if it seems that your uh, process is slowing down because of that, you still best do that because it will um, bring you rewards that you... Well, you don't know yet, but they will. There will be rewards for doing that, and um, also this I find important to tell you: if you are longing for justice, uh, please know that the universal energies are working to bring everything back into order, and that you do not need to force anything through your will. If you yourself have made any mistakes or hurt and upset other people, take responsibility for that. And then things will come into alignment as well when you do that. If you And this is beautiful. If you feel the need to defend your spiritual path at this time, and that could be happening because of what you're going through, then back down and let the spiritual path protect you. Right? So I hope that makes sense to you and I hope that it, it really resonates and that you enjoyed it. And then I'm going to uh, move to the numbers three. Thank you for watching. Bye. Right, number three, your first uh, card, the message from your own guardian angel. If I'm not going to make it in the first video to finish off your reading, uh, then please follow um, uh, the link so you can watch the rest of the video in the uh, second part. I always put links in the video so it's never difficult to find. Anyhow, your first card, your message from your guardian angel. Uh, take a break. Life is... Um, uh, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. And transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. So all in all, what is important for you right now is that you slow down. That you take a break. That you rest. Because there is some intense healing going on. Uh, on, a, on, a, on a, At a cellular level even. That was quite something. That's quite intense. So whatever you are trying to do or doing and uh, it likely isn't really working out too well, that's what that card is about basically. It's just uh, just take a break, you know. Uh, you have a lifetime to do it. It doesn't need to be done within a week or whatever. So take a break and rest. Allow this, this, this change, this healing, this shift to occur because there's likely quite some shift that's going on for most of you. And with Lemuria... Um, I, I, I wonder if most of you um, are, are having some kind of shift to do with feminine energy, your femininity, feminine energy. Even if you're a man, right? Men also have feminine energy. And feminine energy is about, um, well, of course, emotions, feelings, intuition, uh, being able to wait in and still having faith that it's going to happen, that it's going to work out. And um, also then being able to take action when the time is right. But with the feminine energy and your intuition, you will know when the time is right to wait or when to act. Uh, creativity, oneness also. A, a sense of oneness, love, unconditional love and so on and so forth. Lemuria is very much... Uh, to do with that, with all these feminine energy things. And that's not just for women, again, right? It's also for men. Because after all, uh, there was also men living in Lemuria. It's not, <laughs> it just has to do with the energies, not the, the, the gender of the people. And um, so this is for you, the message. And then we're going to look at what you should do right now. Uh... And then we have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So again, the, the, yeah, like I already said, there is something coming for you, a big change, a shift. Um, 
in your life, in your physique, in what you want to do. Um, yeah, but it's quite something and you fear it. You can already see it and you feel it and, and you know you want to go there. The path is lit up here for you but it's um yeah you have to pass through this this section to get to the, the yeah you know to have the initiation to get out on the other side and that is a bit scary you and, and you're lingering and yeah but at the moment uh it's likely also good to not have uh, to, and to not act rash that's what these other cards were about right you have to be ready for that as well but don't fear it i think maybe that's the, the biggest message of this to not fear that right just work towards it so you're ready for it but don't fear it don't fear it because I suddenly i see that snake i've never seen that before there's a snake there and um yeah and another one here huh Funny, but I've never seen that before. Anyhow, um, we're moving to your next. I'm going to put that one there. Moving to your next card, the uh, Goddess card. And we have your Ancestors and Angels uh, card. The Shield Maiden and Yuki Ona Stillness. And yeah, again, same thing. Um, yeah, stillness, be quiet, meditate, uh, take a break. Be open, receptive, slow down, allow allow for time to dream, and and to just be and and um, yeah, get your intuition to work again and just physically rest. I feel most of you, many of you, will have to physically rest as well, and that's likely because there is something happening on a cellular level, the healing that this card spoke of. And that can be really quite uh, exhausting. So it is very possible that you feel really tired at the moment. And and that, just allow that, right? Don't try to fight it. Allow that. Because it will pass. Uh, also with the stillness, this is a winter goddess. A Japanese winter goddess. Um... So, yeah, she also says that maybe you are exhausted, spent from the emotional burden of your current situation. Um, and when you are frozen, it's, <clears throat> sorry, it's the ego that is refusing to accept life on life's terms. And that can then potentially uh, cause fear and depression. Um, so, yeah, in that sense, it's best to just... Um, become, yeah, just become quiet and trust the flow. Go with the flow. Let go of fear. Don't be afraid. Just go with the flow. Rest. Um, it also says that a particular situation or a person may be causing you to see yourself as a victim. And then this card, the, the goddess uh, card, reminds you that it's only a temporary moment in the millions of moments of your life that can help you to get it into a different perspective and um yeah in any case what it says is that um slow down and let all your troubles go and then you will see the miracles that life has to offer for you and uh then we go to the shield maiden Again, uh, uh, a feminine energy, a strong feminine energy, because she is a warrior, right? And um, this means that you also have the energy of that warrior in you, but like the shield maiden, you will still then also hold feminine sensitivity, and um, the, the shield maiden is ready to put a plan into action. She's ready to go into battle, so to take action, to do things, right? Um, she also shows us how to work with others in order to bring our plans to fruition. And um, what, what I like about that card is it, it speaks of having a plan. Um, because like... All great warriors had a plan. 
They didn't just ride off uh, willy nilly or nilly willy. I can never remember, <laughs> and and start uh, doing something. They had a plan. Great warriors had a plan. How they would attack, where they would attack, when they would attack, and that doesn't mean that you have to attack. Right? It's not about that. It's just about having a plan, a strategy, and sticking with that. And then you don't waste your energy either if you have that. So that is very important for you. And let's see. No, I haven't forgotten any cards. I can't believe I actually made it. <laughs> Great, because I hate to have interrupted readings. I don't like that at all. So I hope this resonates with you, uh, all these cards. The most important thing for you to do right now is to just allow that healing and rest. And, uh, and, and then things will come to you again. And you will also know when it is time for you to take action so that you then can have your initiation. And then you can move forward when you have a plan. And, you know, so it, um, yeah, things will work out. But right now, the most important thing for you is the healing thing, the stillness, the rest, taking a break. So I hope it resonates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. I hope. Bye bye. Right, numbers four. I'm not going to make that anymore in this video, so I'm going to start a new one. Please click the link in this video or in the description box to go to the uh, part two of this reading. I'll see you there in a minute.